Oh my goodness. There's a big follower. Yeah, there's two of them. There's two fish following this one that are equally as big, if not bigger. Good morning, everyone. This is Travis here with Keweenaw Charters and Pronab Marine. We just came off plane in the middle of the lake here where we've got no protection, no land in sight. The anticipation is extremely high right now. We've already got some nice fish on the graph and everyone is chomping at the bit to get a line in the water. It's hunting season. Game on. <laughs> oh, what a pig. 20 pound lake shark right hey. there. First cast. Yeah, look at that. That's only half of it. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Now there's some carnage. <laughs> That's called a lake trout meal. Nice. We'll chum this water. Get it. Whatever you want. One of the cool things about lake trout here in Lake Superior is they are the apex predator in this lake. You know, these fish can get just absolutely massive and they are just incredible carnivores. You know, these fish will eat, uh, consistently eat meals up to a third of their size. So if you're talking about a five or six pound lake trout, that might be out here eating uh, one or two pound herring or whitefish at a regular basis. And I really like to use, you know, a bait that gives off a large bait fish profile and is going to draw these fish in from a distance. You know, when the lake trout are feeding out here, they're covering a lot of water, looking for the open water uh, roaming forage such as herring, whitefish. And once these fish work a uh, school of bait up to the top, they can pretty easily uh, grab a couple fish out of that school before it breaks off in many directions. When you get out here, you know, obviously today is a clear day. We can see shore off in the distance. We can see where we've come from. However, you know, it's not uncommon to come out this far into the lake, especially in the summer. And as the warm air is coming over this cold water, which is only 40 degrees right now, um, a lot of times you're gonna get fog. So you just have to be very cautious. You know, as you come out here, you get socked in by fog, you're, you're gonna need some good navigational equipment to get back in. And in addition to that, you know, your VHF radio is your key to communicate with anybody else out here, Coast Guard, other boats, and of course, if there's ever some sort of emergency, you know, that, that's your only ticket to having a chance of being found out here. So certainly don't, uh, don't come out onto the big water like this or anywhere for that matter without really uh, using good judgment and, uh, you know, doing some diligence to make sure you're prepared for it. Well, we are hooked up. We're about 80 feet of water, and we've got a really good fish on. It definitely takes a little while with some of these bigger fish to get them to start coming up through the water column. You just gotta be patient, play the fish, make sure your drag set good. We've got 40 degree surface temperature water out here. We're in the middle of the lake. It's basically 40 degrees in every direction for many, many miles until you get right next to shore. There we go, I can see it. We got some follows coming in. We've got a couple of big fish coming in with this one. It's really awesome to see that. That's one of the cool things about, oh, oh my goodness. There's a big follower. Yeah, there's two of them. There's two fish following this one that are equally as big, if not bigger. We probably got a 20 pound fish on the line. And right now he's fighting because he's getting chased by two bigger fish. <laughs> Holy cow. There's a fourth one back there. Yeah. That's one thing about these big lake trout, they congregate in like-sized groups. Meaning if you got a 20 pound fish under the boat, there's a good chance that one of his 20 pound buddies is not too far away. There we go. Well, oh, heck yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, Tim, good net Jim. <laughs> Awesome work on the net, Tim. That was fantastic. What a gorgeous fish. Oh my gosh. All right, so we just got done measuring that fish. We had 36 inch length and a 20 inch girth. So these fish are just built like tanks out here. So one of the things when you come out here offshore fishing, you're trying to keep on top of some of these schooling lake trout. Um, boat control is ultimately gonna be your most 
critical part of having a successful day of fishing. When you find these pinnacles of structure, we are fishing the spot on the spot. And if you're 100 yards to the left or right of that spot, a lot of times you're off the fish and you're not hooking up. So for those reasons, the electric autopilots on the market today are an incredible asset to fishermen, especially when you're talking about open water, deeper water, and trying to hold on very specific pieces of structure. had a great day out here. It caught a lot of nice lake trout ranging anywhere from two to three pounds on the low end all the way up to close to 30 pounds on the high end. You know this is just a, a tremendous fishery and I just can't stress the importance of taking care of these types of fisheries and promoting you know some good practices uh, when you're out here. And, and one such practice is selective harvest. Basically what that means is when I'm out and fishing uh, or catching a bunch of lake trout on a day like this I really like to pick and choose which fish I'm keeping to eat. And out here a lot of times you're going to have some fish that you hook bad uh, where they're bleeding and they're not releasable. So those are my first candidates for eating fish. You know we like to keep a lot of the smaller trout in that you know three four to six or seven pound range and really those are the fish that are not yet sexually mature. You know they're just a beautiful size fish for eating. The flays on them are really nice colored. You're going to get good meat off them and uh, they're not too fatty. They're actually quite lean so certainly a great treat. And of course, you know, with some of these bigger fish we're catching, these fish are anywhere from 30 to 50 years old um, when they're getting into that 20 or 30 pound class. And it's just so important to, you know, handle those fish with care. So the best thing you can do when you're handling these big lake trout is keep them wet. We're using the big net to keep these fish in the water as much as possible. We're transferring into the live well to do all of our unhooking and measurements. And after that, you know, we'll hold them up for a quick picture as we're sending those fish back in for a good release. Yeah, he's decent. Definitely decent. He's got some weight to him. About 20 seconds into that cast. Oh. I'll bring him right in close to you. I'll bring him in right close to you. Go ahead. Oh, it's a pig. No. Nels, lift up. Nels. Oh. Ooh. There we go. Oh, it's a pig. Oh. <laughs> Woo. It's a pig. Woo. <laughs> oh, you scared the shit out of me. Yeah, I know. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Now that's a fish. <laughs> Just a beautiful fish. 39 and a half by 24. <laughs> 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 There's a fish. Alright, we're gonna let this girl go. There is nothing more exciting or satisfying or rewarding than watching that fish swim away. That's the best part of it. Wow. Like a 30, 40 year old fish at least right there. There aren't a lot of them like that. Ha 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 ha!